Hello fellow gamers, this is Eddie from the Gamers Next Door and in this video we're picking who has the best battle royale mode and why. There's a ton of battle royale games out there, in my opinion I'm playing the top 3 right now. Straight out of the canyon, I will say that my favorite is PUBG, but to be honest, it's not the best one. I know you're saying, hey, wait a minute, how is it your favorite but not your best battle royale game? That doesn't make any sense. Well, you have to analyze all the pros and cons and this was very important on my decision on which game has the best battle royale. My top 3 battle royale games that I'm currently playing are PUBG, Blackout, and Fortnite. First we have to look at presentation and how the game is put together. Again, for me I am more attracted to PUBG and second Blackout, but Epic Games did a good job with Fortnite giving the game that cartoonish look. All that with good character customization is more inviting and less intimidating to play than PUBG and Blackout. That decision also plays well with parents, that's why you're gonna play with a lot of little kids and even Boy. grandpas, no offense. Fortnite screams everyone is invited. Second is gameplay mechanics. Again, I love PUBG because of the realism. From reloading your weapons to opening doors, everything has a realistic feel to it and animation that makes this approach more tactical and I love that. Then we have the newcomer Blackout, and let me tell you, they did a good job combining the Call of Duty mechanics with Battle Royale mechanics, but in a faster pace than PUBG. Their mode is called Blackout, plus it's the best optimized game out of the bunch. And then we have Fortnite with not so realistic animations, faster gameplay and building mechanics. Combining battle royale mode and building at the same time was a risky move but it works. Personally, I didn't like it in the beginning but once I got the hang of it, I ended up loving it. Each game is unique but Epic was very smart on taking such a big risk. Building in Fortnite is very attractive to most players. Third and last is accessibility. When PUBG came out on PC, it was in early access for some time until not too long ago. It made its full release. It was crazy popular but it was a PC exclusive. Then it released on Xbox One, also early access and it was extremely broken and you also had to pay for it. The game is now on full release but to be honest, it still feels incomplete with all the bugs and performance issues, even on the mighty Xbox One X. Don't get me wrong, I still love this game and I'm looking forward for the PS4 version. Newcomer Blackout is not a standalone version. I think this was a good choice instead of releasing this mode by itself. The reason it's a good choice is because of Call of Duty's popularity. Adding this to the complete package of Black Ops 4 will give people the chance to play Battle Royale mode in the Call of Duty universe and to have the full experience along with online multiplayer and zombie mode. Plus, everyone buys Call of Duty no matter what. So yeah, even if you hate Call of Duty, Blackout is a good reason to buy Black Ops 4. Then we have Fortnite. This game is synonymous with accessibility. Free. Yup, free. Not pay to play, but free. And for a game this free, it's amazing how polished this game came out of the gate. A little buggy but compared to other free games out there, it was very impressive. Look at it this way, it's a standalone game that can be played on basically every system out there including a phone. Appealing for everyone including parents, and the game is free. No wonder it's the most popular battle royale game out there. The only question is until how long. Since its release, Fortnite is still very popular and that is because of Epic Games effort on bringing new content to this game in form of cosmetics and weekly and monthly challenges. Also with every monthly update, Epic is bringing a narrative as well. Like it or not, Fortnite is the best and most popular battle royale game. There's no perfect balance to make an online game relevant every year. Few games have done it. For example, Call of Duty, but even they needed to change a lot to continue to be the best selling shooting game every year. For how much time will Fortnite be on top? Only time will tell. Thank you guys for watching and remember to like and subscribe to the sandbox for more videos from creators like us. This is Eddie signing out and as always, happy gaming.